Hello, hello. Uh, I am about to talk about chemtrails. And in case you have no idea what they are, I will explain them briefly at first. So they are these kind of, well, it's just one word for this phenomenon. But um, yeah, I think it's the most commonly one used. So it's, it's these trails, persistent contrails that some aeroplanes seem to leave in the sky and like these are normal contrails like uh, if you see a plane flying in the sky there's these white lines condensation trails that uh, you know they leave behind and these uh, contrails dissipate after a few seconds but um, chemtrails when you if and when you see them in the sky um, they will stay up for like maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and eventually they will um, spread out um, and form like this thin cloud looking layer. And even after that, they sometimes like form clouds. Like at least I have seen it several times in my life in a few different countries even how uh, chemtrails first they you know be sprayed by uh, planes and then they stay in the sky for an uh, unnatural amount of time and then they uh, form clouds like you know a few hours later you see clouds where there were only chemtrails or persistent contrails as some people call them and like uh, supposedly they well this is the claim that i've heard most often that they uh, contain aluminum barium and strontium and i don't know what those chemicals or substances actually do and what are the implications of it uh, and there's like other uh, like this article from global research um over the past decade, independent testing of Ken trails around the country has shown a dangerous, extremely poisonous brew that includes barium, nano-aluminum, coated fiberglass, known as chaff, known as chaff, radioactive thorium, cadmium, chromium, nickel, desiccated blood, <coughs> mold spores, yellow fungal mycotoxins, ethylene dibromide, and polymer fibers. Uh, barium can be compared to the toxicity of arsenic, whatever. I, I don't know what the, you know, actual implications of these um, substances are or if they are correct. But suffice to say, um, chemtrails is a real, uh, is a fairly um, alarming phenomenon and it is very real. Something you can see with your own eyes if you choose to do so. And to, I guess I should first uh, debunk one straw man argument and just, you know, look at these pictures. Like, does this look natural? Like, are they contrails? Did the, you know, planes just go past each other in, you know, a matter of few seconds? Like, they like, I don't know, 10 different planes just, you know, have to crash into each other basically to make this if you don't believe in consistent chem uh, contra persistent pe contrails but anyway there's one uh, straw man i've seen on the internet or heard on the internet several times relating to contrails uh, i mean chemtrails and that is that uh why would the elite do this like why would they poison the you know the the whole planet like this because they also have to live on the planet and it's of course like based on a false assumption that um, the purpose of chemtrails is to poison us to begin with like it's entirely possible like you know if these claims are correct that you know they, they contain all these substances and like you know barium is as toxic as arsenic so it might be one side effect of chemtrails 
but I don't think it's or an, another uh, straw man I've heard is like you know uh, if they want to poison us wouldn't they find some more efficient way to do it and I would say yes but so far I haven't seen any you know conclusive evidence that the purpose of chemtrails is to poison us I think they have some other purpose I don't know what it is but uh, the best theory I know is that they are um, some sort of geoengineering. Geoengineering is a real thing, and I don't know to what extent it happens, what what they can do with it, and why all the different reasons people you know use geoengineering for. But you know, it sounds like a reasonable explanation to me. But it's still just one explanation. There might be others. But anyway, so so it's a completely false argument to say that they are poisoning um, people with chemtrails purposefully because, like, we don't know that that's the actual, you know, um, aim of chemtrails. And another one, like, you know, maybe they are poisoning, like, you know, either as a side effect or purposefully, like, maybe the elites you know, the ones that are really behind this um, phenomenon. Maybe they have some sort of, you know, medicine. Maybe they have, like, detoxification chambers or something. Or maybe they know how to limit their exposure to the poison, you know, just to offer it as an alternative. alternative. But still, you know, we don't know that the purpose of chemtrails is to poison you. And do you know point out people do all sorts of stuff that has that has uh, you know poisonous like uh, you know harmful uh, side effects that are harmful to health, but their ultimate purpose is not to poison you. Whether it's you know cars that have you know exhaust or nuclear power plants that you know have radiation harmful radiation and whatnot. So you know chemtrails might have another purpose behind them so it's a complete simply st stupid and simplistic straw man to claim that oh chem chemtrails you know are poisoning us and that's why they cannot exist because the elite wouldn't be so stupid as to poison themselves like hey, no that, that, that's not a proper argument but let's move on another thing is that Chemtrails are something you, you can almost certainly see if you just keep your eyes open and look up into the sky when you go to the city. Like, as far as I know, they are pretty much everywhere in the world. Like, maybe you're lucky and you live in a country that doesn't have any chemtrails, then I guess it's good for you. But I've seen them in, like, here in Finland, I've seen them in, like, South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and, and whatnot. So... And I've seen, you know, reports and videos and whatnot from people from all over the world basically saying that they have seen chemtrails and I don't think they're all lying or anything. So they are out there. You just have to keep your eyes open. But the, the problem is that uh, you don't see with your eyes, you see with your mind. I don't know who came up with that quote originally, but it's very apt especially when talking about stuff like chemtrails and stuff because you can like if you just keep your eyes open you can see the chemtrails but a lot of people they refuse to see it because of the imp implications because they imply that there is some sort of vast conspiracy to to do whatever the chemtrails are doing and there has to be like it it is implied when you, you know, realize that there are these planes all over the world spraying these chemicals or whatever they are doing. It implies that, you know, um, many governments are in on it or like some, you know, big uh, global organization like United Nations or Coca-Cola company, who knows, like that they are doing it. So the implications are very like scary. So that's one reason why people don't want to see it, and also one one and also like you know they ha if they haven't been told that they should do see it, they may not see it because like I remember me before I had like you know read about chemtrails on the internet, 
Like, I think I had seen some clouds that looked weird, but I didn't really think too much into it. But after I read about chemtrails on the internet, then it took me some time. Uh, like, first, I was sort of in denial too, because the implications are quite horrific. So it took me some time before I actually started looking around um, like, uh, you know, in the sky and, like, you know, had the courage to admit to myself, like, yeah, this seems to be a real phenomenon. So this because, so yeah, like, if you haven't, like, uh, you know, if you re don't really pay attention to clouds, like, you just might, you know, dismiss, like, clouds created at by chemtrails, um, you might dismiss them as just, you know, being weird looking clouds and, you know, you're worrying about your everyday stuff. So you don't think too deeply about it. But after you, you know, hear about the phenomenon of chemtrails, then it's like, you know, something should click in your mind. Like, yeah, okay, this seems to um, corroborate my observations or like, you know, go along with it or support them or whatever. And another, yeah, and another thing is that, you know, you see what is relevant to you. Like, you know, let's see, like if I walk down the, the street, my, like, although my eyes see like, you know, all sorts of stores there, like, you know, m makeup stores or like clothing stores and, and stuff like that, but I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like under normal circumstances, I would never like enter such a store. But like, you know, a lot of women, they find it interesting for me, like, you know, what I find interesting is maybe some sort of game store or like a bookstore or something. And and for me, like, you know, I pay much more attention to them. But like, you know, I don't consciously, I'm not even aware of like many of these clothing stores or whatever, you know, stores that I found boring. And, and so it is with, you know, any kind of, especially this sort of, conspiratorial and you know scary things like chemtrails and also like you know people well pe most people are quite cowardly and they prefer to stay in their comfort zones and it's very scary to you know admit th themselves that there seems to be some sort of let's say global agenda to spray chemtrails for whatever reason and yes it is it does imply it's some sort of vast conspiracy with uh, unknown p purposes and aims and, and whatnot. And like, sure, and sometimes when people admit to themselves, like, wait, this thing seems to be real, they like sort of, they go overboard, like, you know, into this, you know, paranoid panic mode and, you know, go all around yelling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, ah, this is happening, we're gonna die. And, and well, at least they are like recognizing the problem, but, you know, it can be difficult to, you know, just look calmly about the, the facts and, you know, just focus on what you can know and prove and, and whatnot. I, I I cannot say I have anything like um unique like new information I can tell you about chemtrails that isn't you know available already on the internet except that you know they are a very real thing I have witnessed them myself several times so have many other people and uh, and people come up with this you know silly straw man basically you know like the one like oh the you know oh chemtrails are allegedly just you know there to poison us but the elite wouldn't poison the, everybody because they would die themselves and you know this is a straw man like I, I haven't claimed that I don't think most people who realize the reality of chemtrails claim this they simply well, of course a lot of people speculate what they might be for but at least here I don't want to speculate too much but, you know, you can see them. You can see loads of, like, you know, videos and pictures of chemtrails out there. You can see them. Like, today, I wanted to make this video. Well, I, I've been thinking about it for quite some time. But, like, today I saw some chemtrails outside when I went out. And I was like, okay, uh, maybe I should finally make this video. Because, I don't know, th th this is so... 
you know, compared to any kind of, you know, conspiracy theory you might have out there, you know, be it ho- moon landing hoax or or um, 9-11 or, or whatever, like, this is, you know, something you can verify with your own very eyes. But still, like I said, you know, people see it with their mind, not with their eyes, so they 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 refuse to acknowledge it because it's very uncomfortable you know when they realize it's real so they they prefer illusions to the truth because the illusions are always much nicer than the truth at least in matters like this